Okay. So, like I said, in the technology, use of technology, stay informed video, I was going to go over the Moditech crash recovery system in a separate video, just to make it a little easier to understand and to get a good look at it. So, the cash crash recovery system, you can get it with a bunch of different databases, Europe, North America, Pacific, and the United Kingdom. And what you can do is you can look up information through the VIN by keying in the VIN, which would be cumbersome. But a feature they've got in Europe that they're rolling out into the U.S. is you just key in the license plate and it'll bring up the information based off um, the government's database of vehicle registration. So eliminating any chance of picking the wrong vehicle. Now. Here's all the vehicles that are available in the U.S. If we go, we can take a look. Let's go BMW. And if you go, let's go 5 Series. Now, these are the different models for the different engines. Question mark, if you don't know, say it's a four-door. It's 2014. And it brings up the schematics for that vehicle. And we can clearly see, hey... We've got a reinforced B pillar, reinforced A pillar, rocker, and then we've got a stored gas inflator right there. And then if you're curious what a symbol is, it gives you the color there. Now, glazing shows you that the front, rear, and side glazing. You click on like the window, it'll tell you what type of glass. shows laminated shows you the battery location so we'll jump back out we can look at another one and let's look at a Volkswagen now if you're thinking Volkswagen it's not a very expensive vehicle but you're gonna have a heavy reinforced B pillar and you're gonna find strong cars out of Volkswagens because it's the same company that owns Audi and a lot of their technology gets passed on to it. And you take a quick look at this. You can see we've got two batteries here. So definitely would give you good information on where everything is. So we can jump back. And if we look at... Uh, Go Tesla, go the Model S. And see here, it pops up a warning. It's an electric vehicle. It's got a battery pack. So you can't tell that. Schematic shows you where everything is. Shows you where the uh, 12 volt is. Where the cut points are where the battery is. Now, what I like is you can click here, show deactivation. In case of a collision with airbag deployment, the propulsion system will be disabled. It will tell you to chalk the wheels, disconnect the indicated cable. They say see link one. The emergency disconnect cable is used as part of the propulsion. Then it shows you a, a picture. Shows you where you can cut. So we can jump back, and let's look, let's look at one more vehicle. And let's go for a Mercedes. And you can't go wrong with a. Let's go with an SL. Gives you a bunch of information, the supplemental battery there, battery in the trunk. So, a lot of good information. All right, any questions, feel free to let me know.